yesterday our topic was measurement today we're going to talk about uncertainty let's start our conversation uh, with a question i'm going to write two statement on the board and you're going to find the difference between these two statement so the statement number one is let's say 6.1 meter and the statement number two is 6.1 centimeters what i want you to do i want you to find what does one represent for these two cases all right so one does represent over here deci uh, decimeter all right and one does represent over here millimeter Let's remind you what is measurement measurement is quantifying attributes of any object so if you see a chair you try to quantify you try to uh, measure its height length width maybe you want to find the volume of a chair for example so what is the uncertainty uncertainty is the doubt in your measurement so for example if you consider a meter stick the smallest mark on a meter stick is not a meter because this is one meter if I ask, so let's consider A4 paper. So this is A4 paper. Let's call this dimension X, this dimension Y. Okay. If I ask everyone, like let's say 30 students, to find the Y in centimeter. Okay. Round it to nearest centimeter then everybody probably everyone gonna get it right if I ask everyone to go beyond the centimeter to to go millimeter then different people will have a different uh, answer if I ask people to go beyond the millimeter okay a smaller unit than millimeter then if I ask 30 people to measure it and go is smaller than millimeter then 30 people will have 30 different answer why is that is because we don't have access to that much precision our eye only can see the millimeter if if you want to be more precise than millimeter then you have to do estimation okay so this is why we are trying to understand the uncertainty uncertainty is the doubt in the measurement we're going to divide it in three parts. So uncertainty, there are three types of uncertainty. Number one, absolute. Number two, relative. And number three, uh, percent. Absolute uncertainty is mark on the ruler. One millimeter. If you want to go one to go beyond millimeter, then uh, you don't have access to that much precision. Then you don't have access to that much. All right, that is absolute uncertainty. For example, example 6.0 plus minus 0.01 centimeters. Okay, relative. All right, so let me uh, give you uh, two examples 76 plus minus 1 millimeter and 48 plus minus one millimeter for both case you have the same uncertainty one millimeter and one millimeter okay both case so you, you don't know which one is better and which one is uh, which one is not uh, is this measurement better is this measurement better than this measurement or this measurement better than this measurement you don't know so you need a percent uncertainty so the percent uncertainty is 
person uncertainty is uncertainty divided by measurement times 100%. All right, so now you have one, one divided by 76 times 100% is about 1%. One divided by forty-eight times hundred percent is two percent. So as you know, although the uncertainty are same, the percent uncertainty are not the same. So percent uncertainty is very useful. And this is the relative. Okay. So relative when you have more than one data, when you're dealing with more than one data. So now let's go about the percent uncertainty. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's consider x1 is equal to 0 0.0.26, x2 is 0.27, x3 is 0.76, x4 is 0.29, x5 is 0.26. So now this is outlier. You want to remove the outlier. And you want to find the average. Average is 0.27. Okay. Um, now you want to find the range. Range is biggest minus the smallest divided by 2. So biggest is 0.29, smallest is 0.26 divided by 2. And that gives you 0 0.02. Why two digit? Because I have two digit here, so I must have two digit. Two digits here. All right. Now we're gonna have to find percent uncertainty. Percent uncertainty is uncertainty divided by measurement times 100 percent, and that is called percent uncertainty. So the percent uncertainty will be uncertainty is how much? Uh, point, uh, point 0.02 divided by point 0.27. Alright, so point 0.27 is just like class average, and this is the uncertainty times 100 percent. And now let's see what is it. This look like seven percent. Point 0.02 divided by point 0.27. Uh, okay, so times 100. So yeah, it is 7.4. So percent uncertainty is 7.4%. So this is your measurement, and this is your uncertainty. So uncertainty times uh, divided by measurement times 100%. So uncertainty is 0.25, measurement is 5.76 times 100%, and that will give you 4.3. That will give you 4.3%. So percent uncertainty is 4.3%. Now, this is another example I'm gonna use. So if I ask you, for example, to find the length of this one, there is an uncertainty, okay, right? Now, if I ask you to measure the time, there will also be uncertainty. For example, if I drive on a highway, well, if you drive on the highway, right, and you see Mr. Berry is crossing the road, what would be your reaction? Your reaction would be zero or more than zero. Your reaction time would be more than zero, no matter how careful you are. If you are careless, then your reaction time would be forever. You are not saving anybody's life. If you see Mr. Barry walking, what do you, uh, what, what would you do? You try to save Mr. Barry's life by hitting the, of course, brick. So the moment you see Mr. Barry, and then you have to decide that you have to hit the brick. So that decision making is called reaction time. And that is, let's say, 0.2. Reaction time is, human reaction time is 0.2, unless, unless you're using cell phone one drive. So, reaction time, 0.2 second. All right, and let's say you measure, uh, let's say, consider five second, and consider 50 second, and consider five minute. All right, so what I wanna, wanna find, the person uncertainty for this when you have this. So what does that mean? You have a stopwatch, right? And you measure the five second. For example, you know, 
uh, lap, it takes five second for something to dissolve. For example, it takes five second for salt dissolve in the water. That's what the stuff was showing you. It takes fifty second, for example, uh, to uh, to to do uh, to do something. I don't know uh, for uh, uh, for the water to vaporize. It takes fifty second if you use the stopwatch if you heat up the water five minutes for example if you have the hot water it takes five minutes to cool it down if you use this stopwatch and that's the comes from the measurement this is your measurement and this is the reaction time reaction time is the moment you hit the stopwatch and then the to, to start the clock and the moment you stop the stopwatch to stop the clock so there is uncertainty in the beginning and, and the end. Okay. So this is A, this is B, this is C. So A is 0.2 divided by 5 second times 100%. That is 4%. B is 0.2 divided by 50 times 100%. That is 0.4%. And C is uh, 0.2 divided by 300 is because 50 minutes is 300 seconds. Uh, you cannot use anything but as a unit times 100 percent, and that is 0 0.07 percent. We're gonna find the measurement of A4 paper. So this is the A4 paper. I'm gonna use one, two, three. I'm gonna use four rulers. These four rulers I'm gonna use to find to measure it. So let's do the measurement. Um, so let's write it down. So X1 is 20.8 centimeters. is 25 so what I have the average is 25 centimeters okay so what I have to do I have to this is the measurement if you write that the y is 20.9 centimeter long then you would be wrong you would be wrong because you do not know whether this is 9 or eight for that matter or six or five you don't know the last digit you are uncertain you are not hundred percent confident so then you have to have plus minus something okay so let's find it out so we have to find a standard deviation so standard deviation is remember sigma this is called the class average this is called the mean and that will be 20.9 minus this is called the individual data square and minus one. All right. So as the square root b, so the average is this is the measurement twenty point nine minus something is square plus twenty point nine minus something is square plus twenty point nine minus something is square plus twenty point nine minus something is square divide by. 4 minus 1. So S is square. What is something? 20.8, 20 20.9, 20 21, and 20.8. Uh, Let's make it 20.9. 20.9. So math becomes easy. 20 All right. All right, um, so this one would be 0.1 squared plus this one would be 0 squared plus this one would be negative 0.1 squared plus this one would be 0 squared and divide by 30. Okay, S squared is this one is 0 0.01 plus 0 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 divided by 3. So S squared is 0 0.02 divided by 3. So S is equal to... 0.08. Alright, so the standard error now 
is standard error is standard deviation divided by square root of n. So standard error is 0 0.08 square root of 4. So 0 0.08 divided by 2. Alright. So this standard error is 0 0.04. Alright. So now we know this is 0 0.04. So what is our final answer? Our final answer is y 20.90 plus minus 0 0.04 centimeter. What does that mean? That means our measurement has overestimate and underestimate. And the y lies over here. What does that mean? That means this is 20.94. Alright, centimeter, our estimate, and this is 20.86 centimeter. Y is less than or equal to the our estimate, or greater than or equal to the underestimate. Uh, of course, you can write centimeter over here. Okay, good. Or you can write it like that. Or you can write, write it like this. They both, they all are the same. So now I'm going to do the big idea quickly. And that is, I want you to find the area. So I'm going to give you a two dimensional object. And that's say 24, 4.5 plus minus 0.5 centimeter, 14.5 plus minus 0.5 centimeter. I want you to find the area. What is the area? Okay. All right. So now I have three things. One, two, and three. Let me give you an example. If I ask you to estimate my age, how old I am, then some people will say I am like, you know, 50% of the student will underestimate, will say I am 21 year old. And 50% of the student will overestimate, will say I am 60 year old, but I'm actually 43. So I am between 21 and 60, right? So this is overestimate, this is underestimate, and this is the actual value. We don't know the actual value. So we'll overestimate minus the underestimate is equal to overestimate minus underestimate divided by two is what we call the uncertainty in this case. And that's how we will try to do it. But the actual value, hopefully, so the actual value is uh, we have 24.5 times 14.5. This is the area. Okay. This is the area. So the area, so the area would be measurement plus minus the uncertainty. So this is the measurement. So the measurement would be, I don't know, 355. Our estimate is 25 times 15 is equal to 37 uh, is 24 times 14 is 336 uh, the measurement 355 now you're gonna know plus minus so this would be overestimate 375 this would be underestimate 336 so the answer would be 19.5 or just 20 20 and this is in centimeter so this is centimeter square thank you so let me know um, let me know if you have any question and if you find any mistake in the video also let me know in the comment box below